Have you ever been sharing a PowerPoint on Zoom and you're faced with one of two challenges? Challenge number one is that you share the view of your PowerPoint that shows the slides that are coming up and you really don't want to have people see the slides that are coming up. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is that you use the slideshow presentation, you start from the beginning, and then, oh no, it takes up the whole screen and you can't see the controls for Zoom. I'm Diane Windingland with Virtual Speech Coach, and I'm going to show you two ways you can deal with that challenge. The first way is to go to the slideshow ribbon and go to set up slideshow. The default is presented by a speaker full screen. So change that to the second dot browsed by an individual window. And then when you hit from the beginning, it will just take up the space in the window and you can share just that window. And you of course can adjust the size of the window to be the size of your PowerPoint. The second way to do it is if you for some reason forget that first way, you can hide things on this view. For example, you can hide this ribbon. Normally you'd probably be at the home. Any of these ribbons you can hide by collapsing them with the little upside down V, the chevron that is to the far right. So I can collapse that and then I can drag the thumbnails to be so small as to not even be shown. If you want to see these things again, and then, then you can just share by using the arrows on your keyboard to share the slides. Then if you want to see your thumbnails, just click that. And then to get the ribbon to come back, click on any one of these tabs and click on the little pin and then it will stay visible if you don't want it collapsed. So I hope these two ideas will allow you to share your PowerPoints in the way that you want to share them.